everyone, Mr. Bodell here from Bodell's Comfort Footwear. I'm today going to talk about cushioning versus support. Lift versus a sponge effect in a shoe. Let's take this shoe for example. This is a, a minimalist shoe, meaning that this is all EVA, ethyl vinyl acetate. What that does is that it continuously does this when you're walking. And what it does, it over exercises the fibrosis bands that run in the middle of your feet. So here's your plantar fascia, the fibrosis bands running up in the, through the uh, middle of your foot to the metatarsal arches and the bilateral arch here. So what you're getting is a constant this. So contraction and extension of all those fibrosis bands are in motion back and forth. For example, you can touch your finger here and feel the impression of the EVA. If you could twist a shoe like this and go like this with no effort at all, the shoe's not good for you. So my point is you want lift. You want lift in the, in the uh, area that is needed. For example, for your neuromas, the, between the second and third toe where you have that damaged nerve, for example. You want to lift and be held up. Shoes like this, for example. This has a C-cap, extended counter support, hidden roller bar in here, and a Kevlar shank. So this lifts you up. You see the contour in the arch, for example. Lifts you up and keeps you up. Thus the weight is being distributed evenly, and you're not getting that effect of a sponge going up and down by the compression of your weight and the release of your weight. What that, what that is doing, it is continuously just keeping those fibrosis bands moving, and you don't want that. You want them lifted up. Keep it up. You're not putting the pressure on the plantar fascia or your metatarsal arch or your neuromas or any of that. You're keeping it up and supporting it. Even sandals, okay, for example. Let's look at um, brands such as Allegra, for example. This is all EVA in here. So if you're doing this. You're constantly like a sponge effect as you compress and release your uh, your weight, that sole is going up and down, just like your fibrosis bands are moving and contracting and, and, and extending and compression, compressing. So you don't want this action. You want to be held up. Shoes like, for example, the Ufos. This is all EVA. It's too much action on your fibrosis bands and too much action on your feet. You want that supported. So what I would tell you to do is you want to get shoes like for example this is a Fin Comfort. This is all 100% natural rubber. This has a contoured support system that takes the pressure off the plantar fascia and all the fibrosis bands are on the middle of the foot as well as taking and giving that lift for your neuroma. So it keeps it up. It prevents that action of up and down. It just keeps it up. Okay, so you have shoes like this, for example. Taos has it. I'm showing you sandals because you get a better a, a view of the uh, support system. Okay, this is cork. That has an embedded cork as well. What that does, it keeps you up. It keeps that weight off, thus giving you the support that you need and distributing the weight evenly. Even a shoe like this for uh, men, the Mephisto. This is a Kevlar impregnated support that keeps that arch up, thus taking the weight off the heel and the forefoot. So this, these types of shoes is what you want. You don't want to have this action like this. You want to just keep it up and lift it up. That's what's going to give you the comfort and the support and less pain and thus distributing your weight evenly. So thank you for hearing me and watching. This is Mr. Bodell, Bodell's Comfort Footwear. Thank you.